From Chrome, go to your Google account, and then from the left sidebar, click at Data and Privacy. After that, scroll down and you will find this section called History Settings. Click at Web and App Activity. Here you can turn this feature off or delete your activity data as well. Anyway, you can read these rules if you want to. Click it, got it. Click again, and yeah, we turned it off. That is a setting that tracks and stores your online activities, including search history, websites visited, app usage, and even voice commands across all devices linked to your Google account. In Data and Privacy, scroll down, you will find this section called Apps and Services. Click at Third-Party Apps. Now chose one of these apps, and you will have the ability to delete all connections with this app. Confirm. Done. Third-party apps often collect and share your data through permissions you grant, sometimes unknowingly. These apps can access your email address, browsing activity, location, and even app usage data. What's concerning is that this data can be sold to other companies. Again, scroll down, go to this section called Personalized Apps, click at My Ad Center. You can turn it off from here. So Google gathers data about you that might not be correct. Click here and then click Turn It Off and got it. These apps often track sensitive information, like your location, browsing habits, app usage, and even conversations with virtual assistants. Again, scroll down. In this section, click at Profile. Here you can choose the data that you can only see, or other people can see, for example, my gender. I don't want people to see this information about me, so I will choose only me. Be careful about what data you should show and what you shouldn't show. Now go to the security section, scroll down, and you will find this section, click on it, and now you can turn this feature on. It gives you extra protection against phishing, malware, and dangerous downloads. But it sends detailed information about the websites you visit, the extensions you use, and your downloads directly to Google, allowing the company to monitor your activities more closely. 